Here we are with another episode of In and Out Show with Puria. Today I'd like to give you guys a tour of this beautiful $9 million mansion in West Vancouver that was recently built by Acro Construction. This home offers over 5,000 square feet of indoor living on an 8,000 square feet corner lot. Before we go take a tour of this mansion, I'd like to thank Acro Construction for allowing me to come and make a video of their beautiful finished uh, project. Let's go talk about the property. As we enter this beautiful entrance, we have the herringbone paving stone driveway, which is very unique on its own. We have the beautiful design soffits that are um, connected from all the way from the entrance uh, to the second or third bedroom, which we're gonna show you guys later in the video. And it has a built-in LED lighting that goes through the soffit all the way around the home, which is very unique. I've never seen it in any other house before. Um, we are first greeted with this uh, amazing design entrance door, which I will explain to you later. It's a pivot door, but take a look at this uh, cedar finished garage door. This is the same cedar that has been used on the soffit and throughout the house. And um, it's really cool design. You don't really see the garage door. Um, it's just a very nicely finished uh, design. And the soffits, uh, sorry, the fascias of the home are ACM panels. Uh, they are thicker gauge metal, uh, which are not going to have oil canning. So um, oil canning is a problem that you see in the soffits, but in this home, you're not going to see it because it's an ACM built-in system. As we enter the home, you're first greeted with this beautiful nine-foot custom-made oak entrance door that is actually sitting on a pivot hinge. So when you open the door fully, you'll see a gap on both sides of the door, which is very unique. Right on the right side, we are have the stairs that go upstairs or the downstairs. And the cool feature of these stairs is that they are floating and they come out from the wall. The construction of this home has been done with concrete, steel, and wood. And that's how this wall on the right is concrete from the basement to the third floor. And that's how they've been able to put these stairs weldings inside the wall pre-construction to be able to have these stairs floating from the wall. So when you walk on the stairs, there's no shaking. So they're very solid and very, very nice. I really like this feature. There's also LED lighting under each step that it looks really nice uh, at the nighttime. And another cool feature I wanna show is that the actual um, glass railing is integrated into the hardwood flooring. Instead of just sticking out, sitting on a shoe base, it's into the flooring and it makes it more modern and gives a very modern uh, finish to the home. The cabinets of this home are all walnut. And if you take a look at the pattern, the pattern is consistent from the bottom to the top of the ceiling. And it's, been, uh, it's just one piece of walnut wood that uh, they have used and all the cabinets on, on the island and everything, all the pattern just is uh, book matched and it's just very consistent. Uh, on this level, we have 11 foot ceiling and um, on the basement, another 11 foot ceiling and upstairs on the third floor, we have nine foot ceiling. Uh, one of the ideas uh, behind this design is that this is a very modern and minimal home. So what they have done is that they have used this split system air conditioning. Uh, so there's no drops actually in the house and they've been able to keep this 11 foot ceiling consistent throughout this level, which is very, very hard to achieve in modern uh, design homes. As we enter the house, this is the dining area, which um, faces this beautiful view of uh, um, Stanley Park, uh, Lionsgate Bridge, and UBC, which is one of the most spectacular views you can get from West Vancouver. And uh, we'll go through the outside later. Um, this light fixture is one of the coolest light fixtures I've ever seen. This is a $35,000 light fixture. It's handmade uh, bulbs, and it's, uh, the brand is Bocci and it took them six months to get this uh, light fixture uh, done custom made for this home. Um, as we enter the house, we uh, have this uh, wall, which is uh, separating the stairs to the dining area. Um, the owner can use this space as uh, putting design furniture, or they can put um, sculptures or they can put uh, anything uh, up here. And behind this is the um, guest bar. One of the greatest designs in this kitchen is this integrated walk kitchen, which you don't see when the doors are closed. This kitchen looks very clean. 
and if you actually push this door you will see that there's actual kitchen back here which you can take a look inside all the cabinets are white back is splash everything is uh, white Caesar stone and it's a really nicely finished obviously Wolf uh, stove and Wolf appliances and again when you have um, guests you can have this door closed and the kitchen will always look clean um, there's a great size island with uh, another convection uh, oven uh, up, cooked up up here and, and the hood fan basically comes out uh, from the um, um, island and this is just because they didn't want to make this design busy and just have a hood fan hanging from the ceiling just to make it more minimal I like this cool feature um, none of the cabinets of this kitchen have handles and that's another cool uh, design to keep the home more consistent and minimal. So basically all the cabinets open by pushing them. You just push them and they all open up. Uh, we have a three-sided fireplace here, which uh, was around $20,000. Uh, it's uh, called Regency, the brand. And it's really nice for this space with the black stone uh, and also again same cabinets uh, up here you can put a 60 inch TV and this will be the family room of this home. One of the greatest features of the home are these massive 10 foot tall windows that are imported from Belgium and if you take a look at this from this corner of the family room to that end of the dining room and the formal living room it looks like it's just one piece window because with these black claddings and this huge massive opening so these um, aluminum windows what they do is that they will give you a higher rating for energy efficiency so this home is also an energy star home and they um, are really great and they are more durable let's go take a look at the exterior of this beautiful mansion so as we walk out the living room we have this beautiful covered deck with built-in speakers on the, on the ceiling and this really cool built-in fire pit for the cozy evenings. You can put tables outside here, sit outside, have a dining table and just enjoy your evenings while you look at this amazing view that uh, Best Vancouver has to offer. And also this great size swimming pool that is also a heated swimming pool with an electric cover and a built-in hot tub on the right side of the home to um, conveniently located right in front of the swimming pool and also if people come and use the swimming pool they can go take the stairs down from that corner and go to the basement instead of going to the uh, living room and yeah so I really like the exterior design of this home I like these posts I like the big opening windows aluminum windows black and white combination and the soffits and yeah they've come up with a really nice design I really enjoy it as we walk uh, this way of the home, uh, this is obviously the elevator. Elevator goes up to the third and uh, basement level, which is very convenient. When you walk in uh, from the garage, you can just take the elevator, go up to the master bedroom. Uh, there, in this side, we have the powder room with 11 foot ceiling, uh, total built in 24,000 toilet, uh, which is a really cool toilet. And also the uh, countertop of this powder room is over five feet custom made. Um, it's really nice and the combination is together is great combination of the walnut white and black stone with the high ceilings This door will take us to the garage with a two-car garage with a Tesla charger really high ceilings in the garage If you have a kayak or anything you can put it up there in the garage and this door will go into the office Which is a small office, but it's a great home office and uh, it does the job this wall that was concrete from the basement to the third floor also has this really cool concrete style tile that is mitered in the corners as well. I really like how they've uh, cut this uh, corners 45 so it looks like one solid piece of uh, stone from all the way from the bottom to the top. And here we have the option to go upstairs or downstairs which I'm going to take the downstairs first because there are so many really cool features in downstairs and then we'll go to the upstairs after. As I walk down to the lower level of this beautiful home, I'm first greeted with this 11 foot ceiling, which honestly, it's very rare to see in a lower level. It definitely doesn't feel like a basement to me. I really like how they have come up with the same tiles on the, on the ground that they have on the wall. This is very convenient. If you have parties, people can walk in from that door and uh, the heels of the ladies are not gonna scratch the, uh, the floor, the hard, beautiful hardwood floors that you have. In this corner, we have the wine cellar that is missing the racks right now, uh, but it's a really cool wine cellar. You can display your wines here or expensive bottles that you have. 
uh, with a built-in uh, fireplace and TV. This could be a sports lounge where you can sit down and watch the sports with your friends. And also you can put a pool table right there with a really nice design uh, light fixture above the uh, billiard pool, pool table. Uh, in this corner here, we have a really cool built-in bar which is hidden behind these doors. So these doors open up and you can fold them and push them back inside. So if you have a messy bar, you can have these doors closed. Nobody will uh, judge you, <laughs> but here you go. This is a beautiful bar that we have in this corner. As we walk this way, we have a bedroom and uh, a main laundry of the house. Uh, it's a really cool size bedroom. Let's take a quick look at it. High ceilings, all the, bed, all the bedrooms of this home, they have their own suite, really nice bathrooms, and uh, even the lower level of the home, all the doors are custom made, nine foot solid core uh, doors, and um, with the built-in hinges. So one of, the, one of the things that will actually differentiate this modern home from any other house is that none of these doors you will see the hinges, and it's a very cool and expensive feature to, to have. Let's go take a look at the rest of this level. Again, I really like the lighting under the stairs. It's really cool, it looks cool. We have a really nice media room, which has built-in LED lights inside it. And it has a different levels. As you walk in, it's 11 foot, then it goes to 10 foot, then it goes nine foot, then it goes eight foot, and the, and the screen is a really nice, great size theater room. It's, it's huge and massive with two really cool barn doors that, um, uh, that when they are closed, they come to this corner. Uh, in this corner here, we have the um, uh, dry sauna. It smells great. I love the smell of the cedar. No one has used this before. This is the uh, brain of the house. This is the mechanical room, which we're not gonna go inside it. Uh, we're gonna have uh, iPads on each level that you can take out. Obviously, this home is a control for home and it has everything uh, controlled with the computer. Uh, you can have everything controlled with the iPad. Uh, here is another wine display, which you can put even more expensive bottles inside, and another bedroom and a full bathroom, which uh, we don't need to go. All the bedrooms and bathrooms have the same consistent finishing. Now we're up on the third floor, even though you saw me going up the stairs from the basement, but I was lazy enough to take the elevator from the main floor to the third level. And that's why I see they put elevators in these homes because honestly going up and down the stairs, it can be tiring. When we come up the stairs on the, on the, on the left, we have the main master bedroom which has a really cool and modern and minimal design. I really like the color of these tiles. It looks like concrete. Um, there's no curves for the shower. It's a curbless system, which will make the place more bigger and consistent. We have a soaker tub. It's a jet, actually hot tub in this corner. Uh, really nice stone concrete looking again uh, on the countertops. And uh, one of the cool features of these cabinets is that the corners of the cabinets are mitered 45. So when you close them, they look like uh, one piece of wood. It looks really cool. And also this um, big massive skylight is bringing in so much, natural, so much natural light to this room. It's really nice. Even if you don't have any lights on in this room, you're gonna be uh, having a great time. As you walk out from the master bathroom, we have our master closet on the left, which is uh, really nicely finished. It has a solid um, walnut wood finishing throughout the closet. It's really nice. And this beautiful master bedroom, um, built-in uh, speakers and built-in uh, air conditioning in the ceiling with a corner-to-corner -corner glass window for the best exposure. We get the best view of the um, West Vancouver from this level and uh, you can see how amazing the view from this massive bedroom is. Honestly, the, I'm pretty sure the video cannot explain and uh, express the beauty of this view. We have a king size um, built-in bed and a huge walkout patio. There's so much space here. You can put in beds, sun beds, and um, enjoy the sun uh, with the view from this um, upper level deck. And this patio is also shared with another uh, master bedroom. This level, this home has two master bedrooms, which both share the same view and the same corner to corner glass windows. I really like the color of the hardwood flooring. It's really minimal and warm. At the same time, it's modern. Again, great size windows, same views, nicely finished bedroom. And all the bedrooms of this home 
or en suite. All right, we are at the end of this tour. I really enjoyed watching this home. This home is incredible. The views are there, the finishings are there, and I personally love modern homes, so I really enjoyed this tour. At the end of this tour, I wanted to thank everybody that has watched this video. Uh, thank you for leaving me your comments. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do if you want me to make more of these videos. I also wanted to thank Acro Construction for allowing me to um, come and uh, record this video at this uh, beautiful home. And um, if you have a property that you want to be featured on my channel, please uh, con uh, contact me or my marketing team. I will leave the email address in the description below. And I wanted to thank everybody that has put the time and effort to watch this video and also the people behind the scene that have helped me create this video. Thank you very much and see you until next